New York City, greatest city in the world, second to none. Okay, well, second to one in terms of taxi cabs per capita. By that metric, the greatest city in the world is Bethel, Alaska. Population, 6,444. Location, here. Transportation, complicated. Complicated enough, in fact, to make Bethel's passion for cab service, as quirky XD random as it seems, appear inevitable. Why does New York have a lot of cabs? Lots of people. Why does Bethel have a lot of cabs? Shipping logistics, human geography, car maintenance practicalities, and the very land the city sits on. So let's start there. This is the Yukon Kuskokwin Delta, a southwestern Alaska expanse where these two rivers empty into the Bering Sea. And it's huge. Here it is compared to the Mississippi River Delta and Bangladesh. It's got swaths of permafrost and no trees. Very tundra core. But it's also a river delta, so the land's low and wet, with winter snow and ice turning into widened rivers and ponds dotting the land in spring. In many ways, it's a great place to live, provided you're a salmon or someone who'd like to catch one. But it's hard to maintain permanent houses or roads on this type of land, and living on it's no cakewalk either. That's probably why the YK Delta was one of the last places the U.S. colonized, and maybe why people from the indigenous Yupik and Athabascan tribes still make up the majority of its population of 25,000 or so. Just for fun, here's that compared to the population in the Mississippi River Delta and Bangladesh. That population is spread over 56 small communities on the water, where most people subsist on the materials and food that the land provides. That said, these communities still have access to goods and services from beyond the delta, just about all of which reach them via the region's hub city, Bethel. Let's say you live down here, in Eek. The mail you get from the post office, the stuff in the town's one grocery store, and even the pizza you order all come in on a cargo plane from Bethel. But if you need to go to the hospital, or do basically anything concerning the government, or just want that pizza fresh, I'll give you one guess as to where you're headed. It's Bethel, if that wasn't clear. But there's no road between Eek and Bethel, or any of the villages in the YK Delta. The land isn't friendly to them, and there's not enough demand anyway. The closest thing to a highway around here are frozen over rivers in winter, but those only go as far as the ice allows. Boats are an option in summer, but most of the time you take a small plane that brings you and several others to Bethel with no way to get around besides your own feet or wheels. So that explains some of the taxi business. Bethel sees a steady drip of out-of-town visitors who quite literally cannot arrive in their own cars. But locals take plenty of rides too. In fact, almost 30% of Bethelians use taxis for their daily commute. Well, I'm only assuming they're all in taxis. Cab share a census category with motorcycles and other. So if it turns out that actually about 1,800 people are getting to work on pogo sticks, mea culpa. But just because Bethel's a commercial and governmental hub doesn't mean it's oozing convenience. Even Amazon's two-day shipping takes about two weeks to get there. Everything comes in by barge or plane from Anchorage, which drives up prices. A gallon of milk in Bethel will run you about $8, almost double the national average, which is itself more than double what I pay. Heavier goods cost even more to ship, and cars are, by my calculation, heavy. Shipping a classic, perfect vehicle like the 07 Toyota Camry from Seattle to Bethel will run you anywhere from $16 to $2,600 on top of what you paid for the car. And getting a quote on that, fun fact, will destroy your rider's phone for three days, and counting. Once the car arrives, costs and headaches pile up. Gas prices, like everything prices, are extremely high, and keeping a car alive takes some work. You're supposed to drive them about 10 miles at least once a week, even in a brutal Alaskan winter. Also, 10 miles in Bethel is the entirety of the town's paved roads. Yeah, they've only got one. The rest are made of pothole-prone gravel that's icy in winter, slushy during the melt, and impressively dusty in summer. They can't even fix the potholes in winter because the ground is so frozen that it breaks the equipment you'd use to do it. So along with being expensive, driving in Bethel is hazardous and bumpy, making it no wonder that 62% of households there don't bother having a car at all. And yes, there are other non-cab ways to get around, but they're either outdoor in, once again, Alaska, or severely unpopular, like the bus, which a mighty 10 people use for their commute, or a ferry, used by a brave two who I hope are friends. For everyone else, it's the taxis, which provide reliable, safe service at a price set by the municipal government. There are two main cab companies in Bethel, Cusco Cab and Alaska Cab. 
Cusco is older and has run continuous service since 1972 with only two exceptions. 10 days in early COVID and 34 hours in 2022 when a bunch of teens kept throwing rocks at camps so they stopped running the camps, posted a pic of what they assumed were said teens on Facebook asking if anyone knew them, gave a talking to to four teens and their parents, then brought back cap service uninterrupted by rocks or teens, even though the teens, to be clear, admit no wrongdoing. Your average Bethel cab ride costs $5, or four for seniors, though there are regions in town that cost a bit more, which are wonderful graphics team of illustrated on this map. You can also pay a dollar for each additional stop along the way, or 35 for a half hour charter. The cab experience is a little different than what you might be used to. It's both common and expected that the driver will pick up other passengers on the way to wherever they're going. After all, the town's basically a circle and they've got six buck a gallon gas to pay for. Also, you can ask the driver to drop you off at a nice fishing spot and come back in three hours, which they reliably will. And believe me, this does not work in New York City. So that's it. Bethel has more taxis per capita than anywhere else in the US because thanks to the trouble of having a car, the impracticalities of public transport, the weather that makes walking unideal, and the relative frequency of visitors, it just makes the most sense to get around town that way a lot of the time. Also because some enterprising people realized all this and started taxi businesses. May we all have such foresight. So it's pretty easy to hail a cab in Bethel, Alaska, but you know what's even easier? Having a delicious, effort-free dinner with the help of this video's sponsor, Factor. Factor makes dinner time easier than ever by delivering fresh, never-frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Sort of like their parent company, HelloFresh, but without all the steps. You just choose what you want from 34 or more options every week, they send it your way, you pop it in the fridge, and when it's time for dinner, your meal is ready in under two minutes. Grocery store? No need. Cooking? Never heard of it. Cleaning? Not my problem. I've been a real-life Factor customer for years because some days takeout's too expensive, but PB&J dinner is too sad, but cooking is too time-consuming. And on those days, Factor is the perfect solution. They take all the hassle out of eating well at home, and their food is seriously so good. Look at this, or that, or this. What are you making in two minutes that beats that? So if you want to give Factor a try, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code HAI50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. You'll get two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber.